In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of cosine of a quantity, cosine of a quantity dx. All right, and um, in this scenario, you know, some might look something like this: cosine nine pi x, cosine pi x. All right, where we've got two quantities here, an a and a b. All right, first and easiest way to do this is with a trig substitution. I've got cosine a, cosine b, and I can substitute that for this formula right here. Now product of two things can be multiplied in any order I want so that way I am going to get to select which of these two I want to be A and which of them I want to be B because the one thing you do have to pay attention for here is you are going to be taking A minus B you do not want this quantity to be negative so you're going to want to choose your A to be the bigger of the two just so that when you do that subtraction right there it is going to be positive it's just going to make the um, integral just a little bit easier there to work with alright so on this one I've got a 9 pi x and I've got a pi x so that means I'm going to want that 9 pi x to be my a. So I'm going to let a be the 9 pi x, and I'm going to let b be the pi x. Okay, so then after that substitution, I'm going to implement this formula so that I can change my integral here. So I'm going to have the integral of a 1 half times cosine, we'll go ahead and write everything out here. I'm going to take a minus b, so I'll have a 9 pi x minus a pi x, and then plus cosine, I'm going to have a plus b, so I'll have a 9 pi x plus pi x right there, and then my dx. Okay, going ahead, I'm going to pull the 1 half out here, do the subtraction, and do the in, uh, addition inside there. So I'm going to have a 1 half times the integral of cosine, that's going to end up being an 8 pi x plus cosine, adding there I'll have a 10 pi x, probably need a set of parentheses around that, and then dx. Alright, at this point here I can take this integral and break it up into two separate integrals. So I'm going to have 1 half times the integral of cosine 8 pi x dx plus the integral of cosine 10 pi x dx. Alright, now hopefully at this point, if you're doing a trig um, integral at this point, uh, using this type of substitution, then these two are going to be very, very basic u substitutions. Um, you're going to end up being pulling out a 1 over 8 pi, and on this one you're going to pull out a 1 over 10 pi. So um, hopefully we can do that without actually showing the u substitution in this video. So to integrate, then I'll have that 1 half times the quantity. Integrating here, I will pull out the 1 over 8 pi. Integrating cosine, I get sine. And then leaving that inside function alone, so 8 pi x. All right, and then plus, doing the same thing here, I'm going to pull out the 1 over 10 pi pi, integrating cosine I get sine, leaving the inside function alone, 10 pi x, and then I can put the plus c on there. Now the only thing I need to do is distribute the 1 half to both of those, so I'll have a 1 over 16 pi sine 8 pi x, plus distributing the t uh, 1 half there, 1 over 20 pi sine 10 pi x and then plus c. So uh, after making that initial trig substitution right there at the very beginning, this becomes a very simple uh, integral. So basically the trick is knowing how to make that substitution or, or to which substitution you are supposed to make in order to make the integral a straight basically u substitution integral. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And definitely uh, subscribe to the channel if you're liking them. Thanks.